Hey everyone, Val here, and I am going to do my fitness and weight update for the week. Um, I know I think I skipped the week. Uh, last weekend was my 60th birthday weekend. My baby sister came down from New York to spend the weekend with me, which was amazing. We had the best time. Um, she helped me to cook for the birthday uh, party. Um, we spent like all day Friday cooking and I couldn't have done it without her. Um, she was an enormous amount of help and uh, everybody said, well, why didn't you have it catered? I like parties. I like to cook. We haven't had a party in a long time because of the COVID. I don't think I've ever had a birthday party as an adult. Um, parties are my thing. I just, I like uh, planning them. I like um, doing them. And uh, I frankly don't really trust caterers to, uh, because I've, I've gotten food poisoning from a catered party before. So a severe food po poisoning that put me in the hospital for a week. So um, I kind of shy away from the catering aspect of things because I know how I cook. I know how to not cross contaminate foods. Um, so that people don't get sick and I am very very careful with the way I store foods so um, I just felt more comfortable cooking myself and uh, giving the party myself so um, with that being said we had an amazing time uh, weight wise I knew I was going to blow it and I did so but it was my 60th birthday and I don't care so I, I'll get the weight back off I did uh, weigh in this morning and I gained four pounds in the last two weeks it's okay I ate not cake because I'm not a, a cake person but I did eat my um, ice cream cake which I, I do like ice cream and I ate coconut pie because that's my thing so um, it is what it is and I ate some wonderful cream puffs that were made and brought to the party by uh, one of the guests um, that makes amazing cream puffs. So that's what that is and it's going to be better next week because um, I think all of the, the food, we had a lot of leftovers. And I think most of those are gone now so we can get back to the way we normally eat. So one of the items I got for my birthday was from my daughter and she found a book at the dollar store and it's called Life is Long by Karen Salmonson. S-A-L-M-A-N-S-O-H-N and this is what the book looks like. Alright, so I thought it'd be fun because this is 50 ways to help you live a bit, a little bit closer to forever. And uh, I thought it'd be fun that when I did an update, I could read a page from the book because it's got some good little tips in here. I kind of flipped through it just to, to see what it was about. So um, I think there's like 57 or something tips in here, 55. So this might take me a year to get through it um, if I do one a week. But uh, I think it would be fun to do it. So I'm going to read the first page and it says it's like reading a story um eat like an immortal practice hara hachi bu h-a-r-a h-a-c-h-i-b-u and it said there's a blue zone region in japan called okinawa uh nicknamed the land of the immortals because people often lived to age 100. One of their secrets is Harahachibu, the practice of eating until you're only 80% full. It helps if the food you eat is unprocessed whole foods, but simply learning to eat until you're 80% full can be life boosting. I think I've, I've heard before that, you know, don't eat till you're completely full. So this kind of reinforces that. Um, but it's going on to say, unfortunately, it's easy for everyone to overeat because it takes about 20 minutes for the tummy to communicate with the brain just how full it is. 
and a lot of forkfuls can happen in 20 minutes and that too I have heard that it takes 20 minutes for your brain to figure out that you're full so um, if you are eating fast um, overeating just you know you're in a hurry um, you may tend to overeat because your brain doesn't realize that you're full already so it's saying that the solution to this is chew slower somebody did give me that tip earlier in an earlier video that said um, chew each bite full 40 times or something um, that's a hard habit to get into I tried that for a few times and then I think about it once in a while when I'm eating and I and I try to do that it's hard to, to chew that that long um, I mean even like putting your fork down or putting your utensil down that you're eating with between bites um, I do tend to in the morning uh, read Bible read my Bible as I'm eating um, that's some time that I have for for quiet time um, and that does slow me up from eating faster because I'm more concentrating on reading and uh, you know take bites here and there so that does takes longer and uh, I don't tend to eat as much that way either like reading while you're eating or something I know that's not idea if you're you know eating with your family you don't want to be distracted you want to concentrate on your family um, but if you're eating alone, you know, read a book or, or uh, do something. Uh, make conscious, conscious choice to eat smaller portions. So if you put less on your plate and know that you're not going to fill it back up and just eat slower, um, I guess that's a good tip. Refuse second helpings. Um, sometimes that's hard if somebody's serving something really good. But uh, maybe if you get in the habit of saying, nope, you know what, I'm full, I've had enough, and, uh, and then not take the second helping. Excuse yourself to go to the restroom mid-meal so that you have time to feel uh, for real how full you are. Mm -hmm. Make I don't know, that's kind of a weird one. I make an excuse to go to the restroom mid-meal. Eh, I don't know. I don't know that I would do that. Uh, or make an excuse to leave the table or whatever especially if you're eating with a group of family or friends I, I don't think that I would leave the room that's kind of a, a weird one uh, but that's what it says in the book I'm just reading the book drink a tall glass of water 30 to 60 minutes before the meal and I've heard that too to drink drink water before you eat it helps to fill you up um, so I think these are all good tips um, it says some Okinawan favorite cuisines are tofu, goya, uh, which is a bitter melon it says, and stir fried veggies with a uh, special emphasis on sweet potatoes or taro root. Now I'm not a fan of sweet potatoes so I know that that wouldn't work for me. Um, I'm not a fan of tofu so that's definitely not going to work for me. Uh, stir fried veggies, I do like stir fried veggies. And um, I don't know about taro root. I'm not, I've never had that. But I like that it says eating more whole foods and unprocessed, unprocessed foods, it's saying. Unprocessed foods. So I think this summer I'm going to try to do that more. Um, eating less processed foods and more um, whole foods. I guess it's whole foods. So that is chapter number one in the book and I thought it had some good stuff in it I think it's fun to share these so next week when I do my update for my fitness my health um, we will read number two so um, if you are interested in this book I, she bought it at the dollar store um, I think it's uh, everything's a dollar or something dollar the dollar store so that's the book. Thank you all for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know how you're doing with your uh, fitness. And I will catch you on the next update. Bye now. Mm -hmm.